Hi, welcome back to Chaplain's Corner. Thank you so much for being here with me. Well, with Hanukkah underway and Christmas and Kwanzaa coming in just a couple of weeks, let's keep the month of December rolling with a few more ways that you and I can be more generous to those around us. Remember, it doesn't take a lot of money to practice generosity this time of year. Number four, help a neighbor. Chances are there's someone who lives near you that could use a little extra help with the busyness of the season. Whether it's raking leaves, shoveling snow, if that's where you live, offering to babysit, or helping put up holiday lights, a simple gesture and investment of your time can go a long way and mean so much to someone in your neighborhood. Or who doesn't love a batch of fresh baked cookies on a festive plate? Number five, send a card. Receiving a good old-fashioned holiday card in the mail seems to be so rare these days. In an increasingly electronic world, taking the time to handwrite even a simple message on a card will be sure to put a smile on someone's face. Sending cards to seniors in a nursing home or to our soldiers overseas. You can visit www.supportourtroops.org and learn more there. But that's even more meaningful during this season. Number six. Six. <laughs> Have a food drive. Needy families are even in even greater need during this time of year. Organize the collection of non-perishable food items by, quote, charging one or more canned goods as admission to a holiday get-together. Or encourage your co-workers to contribute. And don't skimp. If you insist on name-brand Oreos when shopping for yourself, for example, don't buy the generic version for someone else. Let's all keep that generous spirit going. As always, you can get a hold of me by email or by calling me absolutely anytime. Be well.